Hey everybody, this is my first stab at this, so be gentle. My name is Karen from Desco Artistry, and I am going to be working on a project on a smaller scale of an idea I have to do for my living room for a large scale. So I am going to be using Stone Cone Countertop uh, Art Coat. This is by far the best, the best resin you can get. Um, highly, highly, highly recommend it. It's got the longest working time that I've found. It also is um, temperature resistant up to 500 degrees. Um, above and beyond that, Mike Quist and the group at Stone Coat are absolutely fantastic with any type of questions you have. Great company, great poop group of people. Enough said. Um, I have Resin Art, Luster Pigment, True Silver. Okay, and some of these I just got in. Look at how gorgeous that is. Okay, then I have some Resin Art Blue Moon. These are powdered pigments. So to work with these, we're actually going to break them down in a little bit of rubbing alcohol before I mix them into the resin. But we'll do that in a few minutes. This is also a powder. This is Primary um, Elements, which is another line within um, Resin Art um, from ColorArt.com. And this is Bling It Blue. So you can't really see what it is until you get that right light to hit it. And it's going to give me kind of a shimmery blue effect. I have a different blue here because I wanted a little contrast between sparkle and not sparkle. And this is Color Obsession Crystal Blue. And then I have Stone Coat White Base Tint. Um, if you want cells, one of the great options you can have. Um, really, really good stuff. So... First, I'm going to prep a couple cups, and then I will mix my resin, and from there, I'm going to see what I end up making. So, hang on, and let's see how this all turns out. So when using this base coat or any really of your resin tints, you're going to want to stir them up a little bit before you're ready to use them. And I just want just enough here to cover that white. Okay, there's my white, and if I need to add some more to that, I will. Um, the other thing I recommend is a torch, which I have here, and I have a heat dryer, which will you will be seeing shortly. Um, I'm not really worried about this. As I said, this is going to break down nicely. That's white. I'm going to put some of the silver in here. So you need approximately an eighth of a teaspoon, which is conveniently the exact size of these little spoons. Um, I'm not using all of that, so I'm just going to put a little bit in here. Again, I can always deepen this by just adding a little bit more. Since I want blue to be a little more predominant than the silver. Okay. And I just caught a hair in the light. And I 
can't find it again, so... I'm sure that little hair will wear its ugly head in the near future. Oh, look at that. Right there. Uh, another great tool to have handy when working with any type of paint, honestly, is the tweezers. Because uh, dust happens, and in my house I foster dogs, so uh, hair happens, and I would not trade my dogs for... Uh, well, I have one dog. Her name is Abby, and she is a Rottweiler Husky mix, and she more or less looks pretty much like a black lab. Uh, she's cute as a Dickens, and she's a good girl, and someday I will get her howling. Uh, we live close to a fire department, and every time they roll out, uh, we get to hear her sing. My neighbors love me. Um, I'm currently fostering a gorgeous blue brindle pity named Halstead. He's a mix. That's our best guess. Um, he is a giant lughead and we just uh, he just came to us last weekend so he's only been here a few days but uh, he is acclimating really great. We love him and he will be available for adoption through Second City Canine Rescue. Um, that is sor sorry only for local Chicago peeps. Um, but if anybody is interested in, in adoptions in other areas, I have quite a few different uh, places that we work with that I can, you know, confidently recommend to be, you know, a safe place to obtain a dog from. Uh, adopt, don't shop. That's my two cents. All right. It's important when we're mixing resin. It's a two-part resin, and you have part A and part B, and they must be mixed in equal parts. Part A is slightly thicker, so you see here, I'm going to mix that. I have a little rag nearby to clean up anything, because this stuff gets very sticky. Um, I also want to mention, you notice the gloves. Make sure, make sure, make sure, promise me y'all are going to wear gloves. You are going to want to use the nitrile gloves. Um, powder free. Um, the nitrile, the resin does not penetrate as quickly, as quickly, quicklier. I don't know if that's a word or not. But if um, you're using any other type of glove, it will penetrate. Um, this stuff will absorb into your skin and um, we just don't want anyone having any reactions. So let's do things safe, wear proper protective clothing. Um, I am going to be stirring with one of my ATD stir sticks. Um, this is another great group that I just love. Jeff and Erica are super, super sweet. Um, they will help you with anything. They sell all the products with the exception of, um, no, actually I believe they just started selling Stone Coat too. So I'm lying. They sell it all. So it is your one-stop shop for resin artwork. Um, they have brands that can't be gotten in the States. Um, so they've got a couple different Australian lines that they are the sole carriers for. Um, another really neat thing they have that makes me love them is they have Moo, who is their little palm, who uh, you see in almost every video. And he just, uh, if he doesn't make you smile, there might be something wrong with you. All right. It's important that we mix this for at least three minutes. You don't want to go to town and be whipping this around. You want to stir. You want to get your sides. You want to get across your bottoms. Like mixing a delicate batter. Um, the more you whip this around and the, the more aggressive you get with it, it is going to form more bubbles. Now, sure, we can get the bubbles out using the blowtorch and or heat gun, but it's always easier to start with less. Um, I like to drizzle the resin as I'm stirring. It helps me see how many bubbles I have. Um, it helps me tell if my resin is mixed properly. Do I see any type of white lines in there? Are there any spots where the consistency seemed off? So 
So when I mix, I go side to side, pull it up, let it drizzle, and I kind of rotate my cup as I'm doing so. And I do not know if I'm in camera. I apologize if I am not. That's going to be pretty. I can't wait to use it. So I mixed up uh, about six cups of resin. I also want to mention that I did prep my canvas underneath. I was able to um, get a little piece of cardboard and put it underneath just to give me a little bit more of a sturdy platform. With canvas, sometimes the resin can be heavy and cause a divot. So we're going to make sure that does not occur. And then this is my solid blue. And this is by Color Obsession. I believe this is one of the Australian brands. You'll see here, um, you have to stir it up a little bit, so I'm just going to grab one of my quick little stir sticks. I just give it a little bit of a stir, just to give it a good mix. Um, if ever it seems like it's a little bit dried or hardened, um, temperature does affect these quite a bit. So I would suggest um, just hitting it with a little bit of heat from your heat gun or blow dryer. Um, and that should warm you up quite fine. All right. Let me stir a couple of these. With my white. I will be adding more to this, but sometimes it's easy to integrate a little and then add more. You can see that is quite opaque. So we'll get some really nice cells out of this. Um, another thing I like to do, it's a little, little trick I have is a piece of mirror I have here and I sometimes will just lean it up against my backside so I can see my unfinished edge here. So you can see how little I have in here. This stuff breaks down real nice. Doesn't take a ton of mixing. And this is the importance of using um, products that are made to go into resin. You can do all sorts of things in resin, and I'll talk about those uh, in another video. But I think it's important, as I'm showing you, that I'm describing the proper technique at the moment. Um, or at least, I should say, <laughs> proper technique as I have learned it through my experience. Look at that blue. Neat. Very neat. I think I might add just a tad more resin. 
into that. And after every pour, I scrape my sides and I remix. So that is mixed, and let's do it like this. I think you might still see some of this. That one is there. This little one I've got to stick. This is the Bling It. That's got pretty shimmer to that. That will just be a little bit of accent. And that can go on our bling it. I have my white. I'm going to add a little more into this. I think we're going to need it. So my idea is kind of to have blue and silver, all the tones I have kind of coming and then like just dripping into the white. So the white will be somewhat predominant, hopefully. When I do say the word, hopefully. Um, I do have a little rag here. Um, baby wipes, again. One of my other great and favorite Isthmus things. They're available at Costco. They are Kirkland baby wipes. Um, they last, they're great. You can use them for swiping um, when you are doing sorry lost train of thought when you are doing pouring they are great for swiping the next thing i'm going to do is i am going to go grab some 91 percent alcohol and then i am going to mix our two resin arts the silver and the blue so we're going to start there we go. Some 99, I'm sorry, not 91, 99% alcohol. That's isopropanol alcohol. I'm gonna put just a splash in each. And of course I spilled. Look at how quickly that breaks up. Try and see what. Okay, guys, I am so sorry about the change in positioning, but 
of course, my batteries died. So I am regloving. All right. So let's see what we're going to make today. Let's start out with getting some of our blue down. Let's see what that does. Um, I think I'm going to start my white down here. All right, so you can spread anything you like. Uh, I have quite a few different tools that I like to use to do my spreading, but um, primarily anything that is silicone. Uh, if you let the resin dry on it, it does a really great job. So I'm just mixing this white into our clear a little bit. Um, we will begin to move it around once we get some more heat on it. But I want a little extra coverage down here on the bottom. gorgeous. I'm in so, so, so in love with this blue. I'm really just kind of putting this down because I'm just interested to see how the addition of the heat is going to get these to kind of play with each other. So I don't put it right at the edge because eventually there will be enough to kind of overflow. I promise you I have done this <laughs> many times before, but uh, the addition of the camera is uh, something that is definitely new to me. Okay. I want to warm this up and play with it a little bit before I add... Um, any of the silver or the bling it because um, I need, need to place a little extra white or do a couple uh, extra things so uh, please pardon the heat gun So I don't know if you can tell or not, but a lot of these bubbles are popping. 
just with the addition of the little bit of heat. So I'm just letting this warm up. Okay, I think we're nice and warmed up. I'm going to grab my swiping papers. All right, as you can see, we're starting to get some cell action. And this is when the fun and magic starts to happen. So let's get a little bit of this going back this way. One of the biggest things I've learned is don't get frustrated. Just keep working it until you love it. Not every piece you do is going to be a great masterpiece, but you're putting your time and your heart and your soul into it, and you want to be having fun. This, for me, is like therapy. As I said, I try not to waste any of my resin because I love it and it's awesome. All right, this is looking pretty cool. I'm going to add a little more heat here just to pop those cells up a little more.
All right, let's see what some silver is going to bring to this for me. See how that silver is just blending in here? Oh, love it. I think I want to move this up a little. This is coming out pretty well, actually. I have a horrible hand, but of kind of playing with my fingers. Um, they really are my best tools and whatever I'm working on at any given moment. I'm going to rinse my hands real quick. And then I am going to add some more white because I'm losing a little bit of the cells I had and I kind of loved what that was happening. that
I'm going to let this cool for a little bit. I am loving how this is coming out. And I still have my gorgeous bling it and more silver to add, which I think is totally cool. So, I'm going to reverse swipe this um, just to see what I got. Mostly because I can. Cleaning off my hands here. My heat torch. You want to move this quite quickly. You want to keep it off the surface. You don't want to cook your resin. Cooked resin is not a good thing and it smells pretty horrible. Grab another piece of swiping paper. what happens with some more of this drizzling. So I think what I want to do is I want to drizzle some of this.
to make sure you don't have any little holes or spots on your sides. this up a touch with my Let's see what this bling is going to do. I think what I want to do is kind of... Oh my gosh, you can already see how pretty this is. Alright, let's move this around a bit and see what we get.
love, love, love the bling it. Just filling in some holes, giving it a little bit of movement. What? Okay, then you gotta walk. Somebody's gotta be up there with them. Is Daddy still sleeping? Wow. What? I can't hear you. Come over here. I'm taping, by the way. This is real life, people. Real life happens here. I'm almost done taping. Taping. Oh, you're recording. Wait. <laughs> what do you think? It's pretty good. Not your favorite? No, I like it. There's a piece underneath it. Of what? Like in the canvas. Oh, yeah. I put that there to help stabilize it. What a genius idea. I'll be upstairs in a little bit and we'll figure out dinner. Otherwise, there is the leftover rice you can eat. You rice. Why? You wanted that. Rice. The rice with the pork? That's the... Yeah. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Go eat that up. Preteen. Enough said. So I'm making sure to catch my drips underneath. I don't waste them again. This will help with my overflow. Oh my gosh, that bling it is just amazing. Any drizzles left? Yes, there is. I am not letting this pretty stuff go to waste. But
Alright guys, I think that's going to be a wrap. I will stitch this and my first video together and hopefully it comes out good. I hope you enjoy it. I will post a pic as well of uh, the finished product on my website, which is Desco Artistry. So I will hope to hear from you soon and let me know what you think. Again, first time out, be kind.